I said the king's in the building. Uh, 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 tell me how you feeling. Yeah, I said the king's in the building. Uh, uh. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Things back again. Doing big bump things. Y'all know the vibes, man. Coming back to you guys today with another Elden Ring video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the Gargoyles Twin Blade and the Gargoyles Greatsword. Two really good swords in the game. Um. The way you do it is by going to the underground world. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but to switch between maps, you just hit your R3 button and it toggles between the main map and the underground world. So the location we want to be at is the aqueduct facing cliffs. Now, the easiest way to do this is if you've already done the mimic tier boss where you unlock the mimic summon of yourself. The way you get to it is, I'm not going to really show you, but you have to go along that flaming bridge after you beat yourself in that boss fight. And then you kind of just veer off and then you do like a little parkour. Hard, you do a little hardcore parkour, hop, skip, and a jump. How you doing? Hop some houses. Then you get to this location. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it's part of Ronnie's quest. You need to do it as part of his or her quest. Um, so, and in addition, we get two really good swords. This is a very, very extremely hard boss to beat. And not only is there one boss, but there's two bosses. Basically, they're like twins. All right, let's uh, waste no more time and I'll show you how I beat him. All right, so what I did was I unlocked the mimic, mimic tier, and before I even head in, I activate a wondrous physic to restore health. Um, so I got my mimic right here. You gotta move out of the way or you lose health. I don't know why that happens, but this is the first gargoyle. I'm gonna shoot some magic at him, and right now I'm using the sword of night and flame. Really recommend it. Now he does a lot of the first boss, he does a lot of strikes with his swords. He's using the great sword. Um, I'm just going to continue shooting magic at him while he engages with my mimic. Um, there he, there we go. He's almost done. And the mimic's uh, looking like a protege myself. So shout out to him. Now, if you don't have a lot of poise on your build, you're going to need to carry a lot of Crimson Tears Flask. I'm telling you, like, you could be a one-shot. Now the second uh, gargoyle has appeared. What we want to do is kind of beat the first boss first so we can turn this into a 1v1. Right now I'm using my lightning bolt incantation. And that's one of the big... Uh... Oh, and also both bosses in the second phase, they shoot out poison. So you got to do a lot of running because these plumes are ridiculous. They, they reach such a far, like, radius, so you guys got to be careful. And during the second half of this fight, you I'm telling you this right now, use a lot of meleeing. Don't use so much magic, okay? Because they're going to be aggressive, they're going to be fast, they're going to be running toward you. So you're going to want to run into their legs and dodge their attack and take swipes at their knees and toes. See? Still a 2v1 right now. I believe my mimic is dead. So he's got that. So the first boss is gone. But you got to watch out for the second boss because he's lurking behind. And he's the one with the twin blades. So he's got more of like a dex build to his, to his makeup. So we're going to be aggressive with the melee. We're going to run. We're going to dodge. And if you guys are tumbling, tumble to just straight on. Just straight ahead. He's actually got two weapons. I, I just realized that, but I don't think he used it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tumble into him, take some swipes. Right now, he's about halfway down as far as his health goes. I only got three Crimson Tears remaining, so we got to be very careful. I'm going to shoot magic at him. I don't have much magic left. This might be my last surreal in tier. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Right now, I'm trying to bait him. The thing I do recommend is to not box yourself in a corner. There's nothing worse than when a boss is engaging you and you have nowhere to run 
besides left and right. You want left, right, north, and south to run to. So I'm going to hit him with one more thing of magic, and that should be it. What I recommend is having three magic tiers. And right here, we unlock the Gargoyle's Greatsword and the, uh, the Twin Blade. There's the Twin Blade right there. I can't wait to use a Twin Blade. I don't think I have one yet. So real quick before I go, this is uh, what uh, the great sword looks like. That's the magic ability. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the twin blade real quick. And this is the sword for all you dex builds right now. Pretty sweet. It doesn't have really like a special. Well, I guess that's the special ability. That big like, like that big 360 swipe. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments. Uh, Till next time, I'm out. Peace.